is you do a uh, an oval and then I did wavy lines that are it gets a little wider away from that oval on this side right then you curve down on either side it gets narrower the lower you get and then you connect with a curve just like that okay I did lines underneath too Okay, lines here as well. They kind of radiate out from that oval. I will show that closer up so you can see. And you can do multiple of these tubular flowers. I did two. Now, I'm not going to draw every single little thing because then the video gets super long, okay? I'll show you how to do the one thing and then you can do it as many times as you want. But don't forget those pricklies down the line here, okay? All right, so for this particular succulent, I mean, what I want to mention here, you guys, is the fact that look at your composition, okay? Make it interesting. Not everything should be the same height or the same width. Think about your negative space, okay? You wanna have a nice amount of negative space. Um, it, you could, if this feels like there's too much negative space, it doesn't to me, it feels very balanced. Um, you could fill it up with more plants. It's really up to you, okay? Um, so really take a look at what will look good with your particular drawing compositional wise. So uh, how I did this succulent is I did um, some curved lines first, just straight curved lines. And I thought, okay, that looks good. I wanted to give uh, these lines some width. So I just came down the other side I curved on the top and came down the other side. And <laughs> my cat is going crazy right now. Um, and then you're just doing what look kind of like raindrops on either side. Just curve it. You can also think of it as little ovals too. And you go down the entire uh, curved line that you did here. They get slightly smaller as you get down to the base here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do another curved line that goes behind this cactus. Okay. And you do that with all of them. Okay. And then you notice that I have this succulent. It's in front of this cactus. So I want to draw it first. All it is, is it looks like petals. So I curve and come down to a point. It gets, these curves are shorter. Um, on the sides here, and then I fill in with curves in between, just like that. And then, um, well, here, let me finish these actually, just so I can show you this last cactus. Um, well, okay, it'll take too long, I think, for this video. So we're gonna do this last cactus. Remember that it's behind things, so when you hit negative space, you draw. When you hit uh, something, you need to make sure to stop, unless it's the back of the bowl, okay? Go ahead and do that, um, go over that. And then don't forget those curves. See how I'm stopping when I hit another object, but then I keep drawing when there's negative space. That's how we make things look, we can see things that look behind others, okay? And then don't forget the little prick, pricklies. And I did some just very simple flowers on the top. Okay, just like that. Okay, so now look at our bowl, and we wanna make sure that it's connecting and that we see a lip on the other side. And all you do to do that, okay, I'm gonna make sure it connects here, is you're gonna draw that same line. You gradually come out and then curve. Do the same thing on the other side. I start to draw right about here. I kind of follow it up and just like that. Now, make sure you might see part of the bowl behind your plant, so you need to make sure to do that. Draw that, excuse me, just like that. Okay, I did uh, pebbles inside. Okay, those are just ovals. Um, sometimes they go underneath, so you just see part of them. Okay, and you could fill that up just like that. Okay, patterns here, please. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of shading so we can see that. Let's get a horizon line. In this case, it's a table. So it's just a straight line behind our bowl. Air draw, come out the other side to the other end. Perfect. Okay, 
Let's do a teeny bit of shading. Um, I'm gonna grab my green. Mm -hmm. I need to sharpen, so hang tight, guys. So with these cactus, you want to make sure um, you you show uh, that they're they have curvature. So um, we're going to draw the ends. We're going to press down hard on our pencil. It's going to be the darkest at the top, the two ends. Okay. So I go ahead and I do that dark. Then I just color in with a, a fairly light touch, so I'm not pressing down very hard, okay? So I start out like that. So now what we wanna do is we want to uh, curve a little bit on either side and then gradually, so I'm pressing down a bit, and then I gradually let up that pressure as I, uh, as I color in. Make sure that when you color, that you color in the same direction as these curves. So don't go straight up and down because then you're going against that curve line that you created so it looks like it has a nice curvature, okay? So pretty simple. You're gonna do that sort of, um, you're gonna do that shading for each of these cactus. Okay, with the, uh, the succulents, I made sure that they were the darkest at the base and also for the leaves behind. Okay, the tips are going to be um, the lightest. All right, so anyway, it, I think it's kind of a beautiful little picture. Uh, have fun with this, and I would love for you to email me these because I just love seeing your projects. I miss you guys. Have a great, great day. Bye, seventh graders.